One of the hardest things to do online is to grab the attention of your visitors. And that's why when I see something that actually grabs my attention, I pay attention and I make sure to share it with you. Now in this video, I want to show you an opt-in form that really caught my attention. Hi, I'm Hannah from Thrive Teams and let me quickly show you what I'm talking about. So this opt-in form is a slide-in and as you can see, it covers part of the content on this website. So that is why I thought it was really interesting that the moment that you click on the close button, rather than actually closing the sliding completely, it becomes this smaller slide in that can stay next to the content and that doesn't hinder your visitors anymore. But then when they are ready and when they actually want to opt in, they can still click on the opt-in form and get the full opt-in form. Now, when I saw this, I thought, well, we can actually make this with Thrive Leads. So let me show you how that is done. In Thrive Leads, you create different lead groups to decide where an opt-in form will show up. And then within the lead group, you can have different forms, different types of opt-in forms. So here we have a lead group and we have a slide-in in there. And let me edit this lead group. Now from here, let's edit the design. Now, if this is, if you're setting this up, you will have to add a new form. So in my case, let's edit this design because what I want to show you is not all the design stuff that has been done on this opt-in form, but I want to show you how to do this three-step opt-in form because that's what's really special here. So this is our first slide in. And as you can see, when you click on the element, you can go to your Thrive Leads element. And here you can see the, the width of this element. And so you can adapt it to your own blog design. Now, what makes this really special is in the states. So here, as you can see, we have the default state. So that's this one. Then we have a first state. And this is our mini slide in. So this one, and then we have a third state and that is the light box state. Now, when you create this yourself, when you want to start from scratch, you will see that when you start with slide in, you will only have one state, the normal slide in state. And so you simply go to this plus button and you say, add a new state and you can choose a new state an already subscribed state. This is not something we will use in this tutorial or a light box. And that is how you can create these different states. And then you can design them the way you want it. Now let's go back to our default state. So so in the default state, we actually have two options. So when somebody clicks on this opt-in form, so on this slide in, they will have to see the light box opt-in form. But when they click on the close button, we want them to go to the tiny slide in. So the way to set this up is with the animations and actions panel. So when you click on this form, here we have a content box, which allows to really make the whole opt-in form clickable at once. We can see that in the animations and actions, we have a click and a light box showing. Now, if you want to set this up for yourself, you have here the custom integration. So that's the one you want to click and you can pick whatever you want to do. So in this case, we want to show the light box state and then select the light box from our list. And we can even decide how they show up. So let's say that we want this to slide in from the left and apply. Now, when somebody clicks on this opt-in form, they will see the light box that slides in from the left. The best way to do this is first of all, create the different states, and then you can connect the different buttons with the states that you want to, or with the light box that you just created. So here, for example, then when we click on our icon, you can see that we have also a switch state, which in this case would go to the state one. So that's why it is important to first create your different states and then to make this available. And then you can connect all of this. Now, I hope you like this quick tutorial that you will use this on your website to grab the attention of your visitors to get more leads. And I also added this template to Thrive Leads so you don't have to do it all from scratch. You can simply use the one that's already in the library. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.